I was writing all along. Um, since I was a child, I liked to read a lot. Uh, my grandmother taught me how to read before I entered the kindergarten. And I was, um, I, I loved to, uh, to read since I was a child. And some, most of the times when you read that much, you begin to wonder, what if I try to write something like this that I'm reading? And I started to write when I was in high school, love poems like everyone. <laughs> and uh, then uh, I just kept going. And what I liked uh, of these readings and what I keep remembering are the stories, the, the, thing, the, the stories that were uh, told there, also in music, in popular music. You know, like love songs, and I was uh, always interested in in the story they were telling. And when I began writing, I kind of uh, did the same. I was telling a story. In poetry, you cannot tell a long story, so it's like the skeleton of a story, you know. And um, I don't know; it just happened like that. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can write. Uh, poetry, for example. Um, I think what I like are, is the, po the poetry that guides me somewhere. Not only because of the sounds, which I also like in the music, but some, uh, I'm going somewhere with this thing, with these words. And um, at the same time, I'm, uh, I have always been writing uh, fiction and um, narrative chronicles, uh, uh, um, that's one of the things I do a lot also. And I, uh, some phrases, phrases I use in my poetry you can find in the chronicles or in the novel. Or It's just like a Lego thing for me. You know, it's, it's my work so I can use it anywhere and, and I, I do it. Yeah. Every artist or every writer um, is an observer, first of all. Uh, everything that I write uh, is at hand. Uh, everything I write about is at hand for me. It's like either um, s the memories or something that happened today or something I heard or uh, I, I never use headphones, for example, when, I'm, when I go outside because many of the things I used to write are things that people say in the street or that, that I hear and uh, attract my attention and so it's like I don't have like a method or, or it's just things that that shine sometimes for me you know if I was a different person some other things would shine for me but um, it's just like that it's something attracts my attention and, and has the potential to be used as, as um, or is a raw material for, for either a story or a poem or a chronicle. Someone asked me the other day if I was writing about uh, Berlin and what I'm doing now. And I s said that, um, no, not now. I think that I will be writing about Berlin next year or two years ahead uh, because things have to, you know, like to settle down in, in your head. Um, I, I am writing chronicles about Berlin, but that's something else that's, you know, that's like everyday life. And I'm, this is like a, um, not a contract, um, a work I was commended to do, chronicles about Berlin. And I decided to to write them by season. So I started in winter. I did the winter because I uh, we arrived in me and my family arrived in the mid of January. So we had some winter there. Then the spring, and now when the uh, summer ends, I'll write the summer chronicle. And I will end also in again in winter. So it's like this movie from this Korean filmmaker. Do you remember this uh, spring in, that ended in spring again, I think. Well, the thing about film is that 
uh, or the kind of uh, 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 films I like, they tell stories. I like uh, the music I hear, the films I see, the books I read, the poetry I read also. Uh, they all tell me stories. I, I, uh, I like that. I, uh, you know, you, you see yourself in the stories other people tell you, even if they're about strange or, or faraway places or, or different cultures or different everything. Uh, there's always some kind of mirror there, and I like that.